Hello once again, my name is Clive Monumkundu, God's favorite guitarist. Um, every single day I receive a lot of questions concerning the music industry, especially the Zimbabwe music industry. It's not like I'm complaining, I love this job, I love my calling, so I enjoy responding to the questions. So without wasting your time, um, I've been receiving a lot of questions concerning uh, Leonard Dembo. Leonard Dembo is one of our greatest musicians in Zimbabwe, he's a legend and um, he's one of the most loved musicians, he's also one of my favorites. So a lot of people have been asking me questions concerning his guitar playing skills and uh, a number of them have been asking about the song Shiri Akangwara. One of them that I still remember is a gentleman by the name of Chies Chikora. I would like to apologize that I won't be able to play the actual Lena Dembo song, the Shiri Akangwara song, simply because um, every time I've done so, I have received uh, copyright complaints. And uh, the most frustrating thing is that those people who are sending those copyright um, complaints are not the ones in charge of the copyright. It's just people who uploaded um, the music online. So you know how it is with the, if you receive a number of copyright complaints, especially copyright strikes, you can be penalized by social media platforms, especially YouTube. So as a result, I won't be able to play the actual demo song. So I, that's why I started by playing it myself, trying to imitate um, Lena Dembo's playing style. I'm not trying to be Lena Dembo. I know I can never be Lena Dembo. Uh, as a music educator, as a musicologist, I study the practical and the theoretical side of music. So I'm able to imitate to some extent, but I won't be able to play exactly like Lena Dembo. So I'm not trying to be, to, to, to be a Lena Dembo. Let's uh, get that straight. <laughs> Um, and I also never played in his band. I was just fortunate enough to play uh, with this teacher. For those who know Lena Dembo's history, he was taught guitar by a gentleman by the name of Cosmas Nyati. If you know Elias Msakwa's song, Ande Gudenga, Ande Gudenga. If you watch the video, you notice that I was playing keyboards on the video. And there was a gentleman who was playing lead guitar on that uh, video. That, that, that gentleman's name is Cosmas Nyati. He's the one who taught Lena Dembo how to play the guitar. So I consider myself uh, privileged because of that. So thanks to Elias Msakwa, who is the one who brought us together. So without further ado, let's go to the topic of the day. First of all, what I'd like to say about Lena Dembo is that I am a huge fan of uh, Lena Dembo's guitar. Number one reason is that uh, he was very orderly in the way he played his guitar. His melodies were well arranged. Then Adem was a very good composer. I think he was one of the best composers we had in Zimbabwe. So as a guitarist, for you to create very good lines, you also need to be a composer. So if you listen to Leonard Dembo's uh, guitar lines, you can easily tell which song it is. He was very good at creating melody lines that you can whistle. You know how much I love the whistle test. I always say if your guitar line or if your melodies cannot be uh, played by a whistle, they have failed the whistle test and uh, usually music that fails the whistle test, uh, it's usually boring music county. After it plays, you don't remember anything. And then number two, Leonard Dembo was very minimalistic in the way he played these uh, melody lines. Um, at times he would play just uh, three melody lines on a song. He was not that type of guitarist who would play so many guitar lines and try to impress you in a nonsense. I deserve to be bass. If I was to compare Leonard Dembo to guitarists from the Western world, I would compare him to Eric Clapton. Because his melody lines were not, were not very complicated, but they were very beautiful. He had very beautiful melody lines. So first of all, the chord progression that he used in technical terms is known as 1415, which is, uh, if we're in the key of C, that would be C, F, C, and G. And uh, that's the most common chord progression that is used a lot in uh, Sungura music. First of all, 
first of all, the guitar line goes like, um, if I'm going to play it slowly. Yeah, okay. The first line goes like... And they used an interval of a fifth. Uh, what we call an interval of a fifth is uh, when you play two notes that are five notes apart. What I mean by that is that uh, the first note is here. If you use your major scale, do, re, mi, da, so, you'll be holding do and so. In other words, you'll be holding the first note and the fifth note. Let me do it slowly. One, two, three, four, five, which is do, re, mi, da, so. So you'll be holding one and five. That's the first uh, thing that he played on the song. And then he goes to... The reason why I mentioned this a lot is that uh, this interval of a fifth is used a lot in uh, Chimurenga music. I'm sure you are familiar with such notes as that. This... That's an interval of a fifth. It's not very common in Sungura music. I think um, artists that I know that used to use uh, this interval of a fifth in Sungura music are uh, Leonard Dembo, Poma Tawire, sometimes Kasongo Band, and, uh, and also John Chibadura. Because basically in Sungura music, they use a lot uh, the interval of a third, which is... I'm sure you know a lot of songs that starts with a... Uh, That is what we call the interval of a third. Um, it's not only used in um, Chimurenga music and uh, Sungura music, it's also used in other genres. If you remember, um, there's this popular song by this popular South African artist, uh, Ringo Madlingos, which goes like... There he was now using those things that I mentioned earlier. So he was starting from here, which is fret number 15 on string number 1 and second string on fret number 17. That's what he was playing. And then later on he moved upwards. And he was still using Matezi Waya Dambutara. Then he went to. So basically, those are the three melody lines that he played. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, he was also playing variations uh, of those three um, guitar lines. But basically, that's the, those are the main guitar lines on the song. So I hope I explained well.